I think we're good. So I really wanted to shoot a new video with my new camera, but I wasn't sure what I was going to make. Uh, and then I went to a concert on Monday night. I love going to concerts, okay? I think it's one of the best experiences that I have on sort of like a reoccurring basis. It's definitely one of the things that I don't hesitate to spend money on if I have kind of available funds, which as a working person, I totally do now, which is super great. But because I go to so many concerts, um, some of them start to blur a little bit in my memory and it's harder to remember them. So I came up with the idea of writing down things about the concert and like sort of journaling the night after or the day after uh, and sort of getting down all my thoughts and feelings so I can look back on it later and remember it. Unfortunately, I'm super bad about being diligent when it comes to writing in a journal and writing my thoughts and feelings because Feelings, who has those? Ugh, gross, not me. <laughs> but yeah, I still want some level of posterity and whatnot. Uh, and I figured that making videos about concerts could be just as good, if not better. So that's what this video is gonna be about. The concert I went to see earlier this week was Cage the Elephant, who I've been a fan of for a while. I think I got one of their songs off of an iTunes free download of the week thing back in like fucking middle school or something. Uh, and I loved it. It was Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, which is the one that like pretty much everyone's heard. They re-emerged in college as like one of the big bands that I would kind of just like grind through uh, and listen to all the time. So very excited to finally see them in person. Also, the concert was like part of their acoustic tour, and I was like, well, I don't know what that's about, but that sounds pretty sweet. It was at this old theater in town, and it's beautiful, you know, like super pretty on the insides. Um, it's not completely gutted, so they still have all like the nice seats and stuff uh, on the inside, which is cool. But also, you know, it means that we were sitting down. Well, it means that we started sitting down and then later stood up. So it was a funky sort of venue, definitely not what I would have expected uh, when going to see one of their concerts. Because usually when I picture Cage the Elephant, it's more of like a... Everyone's packed together, jumping up and down, maybe like a bit of a mosh situation. Uh, apparently the lead singer is super well known for crowd surfing, um, which he definitely could not do at the Paramount because, again, seats. Oh, okay, so the weird thing about this concert, I don't know if maybe it was being recorded or what, but they had us put all of our cell phones in these like weird pouch things when we first entered the venue. Um, and they like sealed them with this magnetic clamp so you could not open it and uh, they didn't unseal them until you left. So a lot of people were speculating that maybe they were recording. Um, they definitely didn't give the mic to the audience hardly at all. There was one song where he did it like once and that was towards the end. So I don't know if they're recording the whole tour and they're gonna compilate a cool album off of that or if it was just our show or what, but if a recording comes out of it, that'd be pretty, pretty sweet. I'd be pretty hype about that. I digress. So the whole thing about the acoustic tour meant that they actually had a little section on stage for uh, like a string quartet. So there were some violins and a cello player. It added a really cool sound. And then of course everyone was on acoustic guitars instead of electric. There were two percussionists, which was pretty sweet. And then there was the lead singer. The lead singer, super fun guy, definitely channeling a Mick Jagger sort of vibe. And I mean, the whole concert, the whole band had a very British invasion feel to it, which my mom confirmed. She would know because she was around for the real British invasion. Side note, yes, I did go with my parents, uh, which maybe made the concert a little less enjoyable. They were great, but like, I'm not really gonna like let loose. Uh, with my parents just kind of like bobbing along next to me. But they were cool and they had a really good time, so I mean, it wasn't as weird as it could have been. Anyways, lead singer, full of energy, did a lot of like weird shaking, dancing stuff. Uh, again, very Mick Jagger, very white boy rock and roll moves. He only had like this very little space on stage that he could sort of like roam around in. Uh, he made a joke that he felt like an animal or an elephant in a cage. I think he's used to sprinting up and down, 
the stage, which is what he clearly wanted to be doing, but there just was not space for it. And besides the dancing and the physical body movement, his singing was just far more energized than he usually is after it's been produced and like put on a track. And so that was super, super fun. Um, everyone was standing on their feet by the second song and remained standing the whole way through. The crowd was like super into it, which is always a really good time, even though I thought the space itself was a little bit awkward. Uh, for the band that was playing. I really want to go see them again and then just be in that sort of squished, moshy sort of atmosphere where everyone's just like going fucking crazy because the show just has such good energy. I did make the mistake of not listening to Cage the Elephant's music a whole lot before I saw them live and instead I listened to them after, but I really wish that I had done it the other way around because you know, there's just such a stark difference and I think I would have appreciated it even more live in the moment if I had listened to their recorded stuff before I went and saw them. Um, because afterwards I just kind of felt myself like reliving the concert and wishing that I had been there with like that frame of mind to be able to say, oh my god, his energy is so much better. Like you can hear more complex rhythmic patterns when they're live, which is really cool because some of their music has some pretty pretty funky stuff in it. You know, it's not all the same meter or they just have a lot of layering of different instruments. And when they're live and you can see it and you can hear it uh, really, really clearly, it just takes the forefront, whereas when I listen to them like on the track, sometimes the songs just start to blur together a little bit and it's harder to pick out those um, distinct funky things that really makes their music super good. Casey Elephant had a great British Invasion classic sort of feel and cool energy and definitely the acoustic set really brought out all the layers and the complexities that they have in their music. It was a really fun concert and I hope that I get to see them again and I hope when I do I will be a little more drunk and a lot more sweaty by the end. Does that sound weird? Concert series vlog number one. It's over.